Hello, this is Maria Canals Barrera from Wizards of Waverly Place, Camp Rock, the Justice League, Danny Phantom, Dora, and you are listening to the amazing, the wonderful, the talented Jordan Elliott on WRHU. Be careful not to mess with the balance of things because everything is not what it seems. 88.7 FM Radio Hawks University. My name is Jordan Elliott, and today I am sitting with an award-winning actress featured in numerous animated and television projects, probably best known for her role as Teresa Russo on Disney Channel's Wizards of Waverly Place, Maria Canals Barrera. Maria, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. I love college radio. I'm very <laughs> excited to be sitting with you, not only because I'm a huge fan, but also I love meeting people named Maria. Uh, I actually played Tony in West Side Story a few years ago. So uh, I love singing oh. that song. Maria, just met a girl named Maria. I'm, I'm happy to be talking with you today. Maria, <laughs> let's get right into some questions. Uh, as a college student, I know I'm always questioning my career path. Did you always know you wanted to be an actress or did you have a moment that made you want to pursue acting? I think I always wanted to be an actress, but I hadn't really fully formed the thought into words as a real career until I was in high school. It seemed like this like weird fantasy to be an actor, you know, a TV star. It seemed like this unattainable thing, not a job. So I think when I was a senior in high school and I was about to go to the University of Miami and a, a an actress, a real professional working actress, told me I should audition for the scholarship. I I did, and I got it for theater to to be a theater arts major. And after that, I never looked back. Oh, that's great! I know that voice acting has always been a huge part of your professional life. You've had many notable roles, including Hawk Girl in the Justice League and Paulina on Danny Phantom. I'm sure you're no stranger to fans of your live action work, but the animation fans have a different level of dedication. Have you ever been to one of the cons? I know those are very big for fans of animation. Oh, yes, I do cons all the time. In fact, I've been to the New York Comic Con. We've done the Denver Comic Con, Savannah. And I just got booked for the for the Dublin Comic Con in Ireland. And I'm over the moon about that one too, because I haven't been to Ireland. Anyway, so yeah, I love meeting the fans at these Comic Cons. They, like you said, it's a special experience. They're very devoted. They remember so much. They ask me about, you know, episode five of the Justice League season two, when Hawk Girl went to Thanagar and betrayed the league. And they have such specific questions. I love it. I love that I get to be a part of something that was so well done by the brilliant writers and animators that I got to be a part of that where it makes such a difference and has such longevity for so many fans. I love the Comic-Con experience. It's a great experience. I've been to my fair share of cons. Speaking of mm -hmm. dedicated fan bases, um, I was really excited to see that you just started a brand new animated project. Um, as Abuela on the brand new Dora the Explorer on Paramount+. Plus, Tell me a little bit about how you're breathing new life into this beloved show and this beloved character of Abuela. Well, I love this show because it is so pure and beautiful and innocent. And there is a smaller and smaller window where kids can see and hear and use their imagination without any negativity, any strife, any outside agendas. It's just about fantasy and childhood and friendship. She's bilingual to boot. She's an iconic Latina heroine. And getting to play her grandmother, uh, I love the way the grandmother character is portrayed, beautifully animated and written. She gets to be a traditional grandmother in that I cook, I sing, I dance, but I'm also an explorer. That's where Dora gets it from. So the grandma, you know, is is climbing mountains and in the rainforest and always telling stories about her adventures, her past adventures and her current adventures. So she really is a limitless character. She gets to be everything. So you see who Dora took after. Uh, it's really terrific. I'm loving it. I'm loving this, this, um, this show. I hope all of the viewers and listeners at home check it out. We all grew up with Dora. We need a little bit <laughs> of our childhood back right now. Exactly. It's not just for preschoolers. <laughs> Tap into your childhood. That's actually a very healthy thing to do. 88.7 FM, Radio Hofstra University. If you are just tuning in, my name is Jordan Elliott. We are sitting down 
with Maria Canales Barrera. Before we get into Wizards of Waverly Place, I have to mention Camp Rock. That was also very huge for kids my age. Uh, Demi Lovato, the Jonas Brothers, so many huge stars in that movie. Do you have any memories from the set that you could share? My kids, my two daughters were very little, so they came with me. And I remember um, my older daughter, she's 20 now, but she was little and she's a singer as well. And I remember I let Demi hear it on the set. Demi was laying in the grass and I had her hear Bridget singing and she was like, her reaction was like a physical reaction because Bridget has such strong, powerful lungs, just like Demi. And she was so impressed and she was so encouraging. And um, and also I remember on set, it was Nick Jonas who told me, oh, Bridge should sing, you know, the famous song from Annie, uh, from the musical Annie, uh, yeah. Tomorrow. And she should yeah. sing Tomorrow, she should sing Cosette from Les Mis, she should sing, like he was giving her songs to work on, like they were so generous, you know, these incredibly talented people themselves, uh, concerning my own daughter's talents. And look, now she's a singer too. And uh, they're just lovely young people back then as well. Uh, Demi's always been such a light. Uh, she's been through so much and she's strong and just phenomenally talented. And uh, the Joe Bros were so sweet to to me, to all the, the other actors on set. The music was so great and people just have such an affection for Camp Rock. And it was a wonderful experience. I have, I have a lot of great memories. Yeah, Camp Rock, it was such a movement. Another great Disney Channel movement, of course. Wizards of Waverly Place. I was so excited to see that you guys are coming back. The Russo <laughs> family is back. What can you tell us about that? Is the sub shop coming back? Uh, will you be spoiling your grandchildren on the show and letting them use magic <laughs> to fold laundry? Like, what can we expect out of this reboot? The family has been invited back. And so, yes, I will be coming back as the grandma. And of course, I'm going to spoil them. And of course, I'm going to have opinions about how my grandchildren are being raised. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I got to see a run through of a producer's, a producer's run through of the pilot. And, you know, it's about David Henry's character, Justin, and his wife and his two sons. And he's like over the magic thing. It has caused him so many problems. And he went through some experiences that weren't so great. And he decides that he wants nothing to do with magic. And he is like, a, I think he's like a middle school vice principal. And he has a normal life with a normal, beautiful wife and two normal, beautiful boys. And, you know, Selena is guest starring in the pilot. And she'll be recurring, I heard. Uh, and she comes and like she's like, she drops this girl off and says, you got to be, you, you have to train this girl. She has no discipline, but she's got so much talent, just like. Alex, right? And uh, he's in this dilemma where he wanted to leave magic behind, but he's the only person that could really understand and train this young girl. So he ends up taking her in. So it's kind of like the family all over again, but now he's the dad and he has to accept and embrace his wizard powers to properly train this young girl. And, and his sons like have to find out about his past and it's really so well written the actors the young actors are terrific just like with our show i have to say you know being an adult on a quote-unquote kids show when the kids are really really good like our kids like selena talented my goodness from the get-go david henry jake austin jennifer stone they were so talented and so good at what they did that it put the the uh, adults at ease, you know, hey, I'm the parents on this kid's show and it's fantastic because these kids are amazing. Plus our roles were wonderful. We weren't just thankless parents. We got to do a lot of fun things. We were under spells. So I saw it happening again when I got to see the run through of the, of the new show, how talented these young kids are. And I think the fans are going to love it. I'm very excited for the new show. Um, before you guys got picked up for the sequel series, how much have you kept in touch with the cast? Have you... Have you spoken to them? Have you kept a relationship with them? Because I know that your on-screen chemistry was fantastic with every one of those people. Well, thank you. We did have great chemistry, all of us. You know, we have kept in touch. Uh, unfortunately, we can't see each other as much as we used to, or even as much as we'd like to. But, but yes, we've all kept in touch. And it was fun to do the, the Wizard podcast with Jennifer and David. And of course, you know, David Henry, I've seen more of because he um, directed a little project that he cast me in and my husband. I'd love to see them even more. And I'm excited that with this pilot sequel, the, there'll be that opportunity 
to see more of them. You know, I saw Selena perform in a concert. She was amazing. Uh, I got to see her, of course, when I visited the set. And she's so another powerhouse, another survivor. You know, she's been through a lot herself uh, with her health. And I'm just so proud of of all the young people that are now, I can't believe in their, well, 30s, but I love them. I'm happy for them. I got some goosebumps, I have to tell you, when I saw the run through of the pilot sequel, there was this scene with Selena and David Henry. They have the relationship, of course, that they have that love, hate, competitive, I'll kill for you, but I, but I compete against you kind of sibling rivalry. They had a scene that was so beautifully written and so powerful. And there were moments that really echoed the moments that they had as teenagers on the show, but now they're adults. And for me as a mom, a real, a real mom with real adult children now, 18 and 20, that gave me, I really got emotional, not just as seeing them through my mind's eye as Teresa, but as Maria. And uh, I think the fans are going to love it because they have that affection for the show because they grew up with it and because it was so well done. And it was very realistic. There were a lot of realistic moments that I realized later in my life when my little ones became tweens and teens that I saw prematurely on our show. I'm so excited. Wizards of Waverly Place is returning. Dora is streaming now on Paramount+. Plus. Maria Canals Barrera, thank you so much for joining me today. Is there anything else you want to leave the students at Hofstra? Find the truth in everything that you're dealing with, whether it's your personal life, your school life, your future, your goals, and go where that truth takes you, whether it's popular or unpopular. You cannot go wrong. Focus on what it is that you love and what is true and pursue your dreams and don't be afraid because everything is hard. So you may as well give what you want and what is good and what you're naturally skilled at your all and never give up if you know you have something to offer because you are unique and special and there's no one like you. So never give up if you know you have something to give and you have a passion to give it. Maria, that was very inspiring. Thank you so much. 88.7 FM Radio Hofstra University. My name is Jordan Elliott. Thank you for listening. Maria. Go Hofstra!